Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome back for a brand new video. I hope the angle's alright. But as you could tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, I'm filming, I think, one of the biggest payday hauls I've done. A lot of this has Christmas presents in and gifts for people, um, which will be shown in my festive vlogs, which I'm starting very soon. This stall gives me anxiety because I have a feeling it's just going to break. Ah. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to stop rambling because I have a feeling this is going to be a long one. Um, I've got bits for myself, I've also got obviously as I said, Christmas presents um, and maybe give you guys some inspiration for any Christmas gifting that you need. You guys need to get done. Let's get into the video. Just, as in like boxes of stuff that I've got. I have shown these in my vlogs, uh, well, in one of my vlogs but I thought I'd include it in my payday haul. I won't talk too much about it. I ordered from Peaches and Cream initially for myself but I've decided I'm actually going to not be as impulsive as I was I guess when I bought this but it's really actually handy that I did because I'm going to give it as a main Christmas present to one of my gals um, but I'm going to order the individual peaches and cream base brushes that I really want because they're not actually included in this brush set anyway um, but this is a full brush set including base brushes um, eye brushes and all that kind of fun stuff um, I'm not going to open it up because it is a pain in the ass to shut again but what an amazing gift idea this cost £25 I think that was with discount it, I think the whole set retails for 30 odd so yeah, everything good comes in pink packages, as the box says. Um, so that's one thing that I picked up. The next is from Made by Mitchell. Now this box is staying with me for life. The packaging's amazing. Now I've got some bits from by Caitlin Collection in here as well that I've got in a mystery bundle. Um, but we'll start with the Made by Mitchell things first. So he did, or he still does, do bundles called the £15 Secret Santa Bundle. And I don't know, I can't remember if there was variations you could get, but I think I got variation three. Don't quote me on that. And this is everything that you got in it. All existing products, it wasn't any of his newness per se, but £15 for six full size items. I'm, yeah, I'm obsessed. So some of these are gonna be Christmas presents, some of them are gonna be for me, but I'm just gonna show you what um, I got in my bundle. So I got the Skin Prep um, Watch Your Tone Toner. Now I absolutely love the concept of this because I've never known a toner to be a spray bottle. Oh, I've just ripped the lid. Of course I have. Well, I can get rid of the box now anyway. Um, but I've never known a uh, toner, as I said, to be in a spray bottle. But how cool is the packaging? Like, that's one one of the many things I love about Mitchell's brand because it's just so unique. But yeah, is it a spray? Um, it's a spray concept of the toner. And I'm looking forward to giving it a go. I have seen his skincare all over my TikTok for you page and I've always wanted to try something. So when I opened this up and saw this, I was like, bloody hell, because this retails, I believe, for £15 or more. So that's basically the box is like worth on its own. But you don't just get that. Oh no, you do not. I got um, the MF18 brush from his ombre collection that he's obviously re-released his brushes, but with ombre... Um, brush handles I guess that's what you call them um, and this is in the late liquor one and it's really really pretty um, and we all love a made by Mitchell brush I then got I did get rid of the box for this but the blush press when I'm gone blusher oh my god now the packaging does not do it justice as in the outside packaging um, when you open this up because the shade on the back looks really intimidating when actually that is my tone in a blusher as I'm sure you can imagine. I love a peachy apricot blush. I just feel like it suits me and it's my preference. And I know his blushes are amazing. His blush pods are one of my favorite formulas I've ever tried of powder blush. Well, it's kind of like a baked powder blush. But anyway, so I'm really excited to try this on my face. I've got high expectations. Um, I then got, these two are gonna be Christmas presents for people. I've got a gel eyeliner in Lil Heat and a blush in Candy Trip. I've had this before. I used it a bit, it's a really pretty um, product, but I'm not gonna use it and I know, oh, God. And I know these two could be a great um, gift for one of my friends. And also, with the size of these products, they're great stocking fillers as well. Um, and obviously TikTok shop do so many amazing deals. Like I would definitely check out TikTok shop for Christmas shopping, off like your favorite brands and stuff like made by Mitchell, um, P. Louise, Trigwell Cosmetics. They're always doing great stuff, especially because it's nearing to Black Friday now um, as I'm filming this. But yeah, they are gonna be great Christmas presents for people. And then I've got this, which I was in two minds about regifting or trying it and then giving it to a friend if I don't get on with it. And it's a blush pod, which I've been eyeing up. I've been eyeing this up since I fell in love with the blush, the blush pod, um, the blush pod basically. I get it all mixed up. But this is in Cool Mum. 
um no it's not it's an almond mum sorry it's quite dark like the picture because i thought oh this isn't the shade that i wanted obviously i know it's a mystery so i was thinking okay i'll re-gift it for someone for christmas and then i actually checked out my screenshots and it actually is the shade i picked but on tiktok shop anyway i'm not saying it's mitchell's fault at all i'm just saying from my experience shopping and having a look it definitely looks a lot lighter on the picture i think personally but i could be wrong um and it also scares me a little bit because it's got iridescent shimmer in it but I'm going to try it, um, as I said, if I don't like it or if it doesn't suit me. Because I have a feeling I'll love it. It's just if it's a bit too dark, then I will pass it on to one of my friends. Because there's no way that that's being wasted. But, yeah. Like, if you look at the price for all of these. Like, this is definitely over £10 at full price. Like, if you're going by the website prices. This is about, um, I want to say roughly £12. That's roughly £12. These retail for £16 at full price. £15 minimum, I think. And I'm not sure about the gel eyeliner. But... For all of that, £15, you cannot go wrong. So it would be, as the name suggests, a great secret Santa present uh, for any beauty lovers you know, or a little treat to yourself even. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I could not believe my eyes when I opened it. And then the next things are from my Caitlin collection. Now, we all know I love her brush and sponge soap. It is my favourite. It's my go-to to keep my brushes clean. And today I need to clean my brushes because they look shocking. But I got one of her mystery bundles. And I've never had anything like that from her before. And I've got some great things. I'm keeping two of the items and I'm giving two as Christmas presents. So I've seen this on her TikTok um, and on my few page so many times. It's the Liquid Crystals Glitter Eye Toppers. Um, and they just look absolutely stunning. So you get three. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up. But I am so excited to try these. It's the season of sparkles and glitter coming up. And well, I, I love glitter and shimmer anyway. But perfect excuse for christmas work dues or just christmas outings christmas everything i feel like this is gonna be a staple i'll let you guys know how i but yeah so i'm really excited to try those for one of her best selling makeup remover cushions i think that's what it's called let me check Hang on, I've got the... best selling face cleansing cushion and it comes in its own little bag which is gonna be really handy for when i go for weekends away and stuff and it's so soft i haven't tried it yet but i love reusable makeup puff remover puffs um, and then I got this, these two, which is the Polished Skin Illuminator and their, their Body Buffing Brush for said product and other products. I am not going to be using these. Um, I was going to try and convince myself that I'd use it. And it does say a pearl finish, but it's just, I don't think it's, because it says suitable for all skin types. But I just, I'm a bit, I'm a bit too scared. So I know exactly who I'm going to give this to for Christmas. And I know, well, I hope that she's going to love it. So I can't remember how much I paid um, for this, but it was definitely worth the money, in my opinion, and I can't wait to try these. Purchase, uh, another TikTok shop purchase first. It's not the glass jar, that's from Poundland, but these are those viral brushes, like the hourglass dupes. I've got everything in there because they're double-ended. They're not the brushes I actually was intending to get, but they feel incredible. I've not tested them yet, but for £15, you really can't go wrong. Um, so I got those. They're all the base brushes, and then you also get the eye brush set we all know i love a fluffy eye brush and that's basically a whole collection of fluffy eye brush mix of revolution and w7 um i made two fairly big orders in their black friday sales um and i'm gassed with everything i got but i'm going to show you the first thing that i got full price it is this the glam foundation no it's not the glam fold out organizer bag i love the look of this because i really needed to upgrade my makeup bags because my other ones are just a bit grim so you open it up let's get rid of that and then you have all that space. And I'm all about saving space when I'm going away or whatever. Um, I just love the concept. Like, I'm really here for it. And another, this was made after, this purchase was made after I got, was it before? I can't remember, but I got something else that matches this perfectly from a different brand. Um, the same kind of category of item. Um, I was expecting it to feel solid. I don't know why I was expecting it to feel solid, but obviously it's quite, you know. But for 11 99 I think that's perfect. And perfect size for like hand luggage and stuff like that um okay we'll stick with the revolution stuff i got some gift sets quite a few gift sets so i got the um, peptide power lash and lip duo so this includes um their peptide strength brow and lash serum and also their peptide power lip treatment so it just says healthy condition lashes lips and brows um so that's kind of like they're advertising for it. Um, 
and more information on the other side. I've got to be honest, the only drawback of this is the gift set is huge and the two products inside aren't massive. Do you see what I mean? So I think they probably could have been a bit more eco-friendly with a smaller box, but for the price I paid, you know, you can't grumble. Um, so I got that. I also got two sets of these. I've actually asked for one of these for myself um, for Christmas from my family because A, how cute are these as Christmas decorations, can I just say? Definitely fits my aesthetic, but these are um, lip gift sets. So this one is all about the pout lip gift set. I'm not going to open it up, but I'll show you the gift tag. These are going to be an absolute bitch to wrap, but that's what they, that one looks like. And this one is the cherry lip um, care set. So I think you get a lip oil and a lip mask in this one. That's what it looks like. I think Revolution do some of the best gift sets in my opinion. And also if you're grabbing them in the sales, it's just saving you money and getting a job done. So I've got those. I also got more gift sets from, I'm trying not to be too long on these because obviously I've got quite a lot to go through. Um, but I've got this, which is the Get In Loser, We're Going Shopping, Mean Girls Times Revolution collab. And this is a beauty sponge. Once again, like, Revolution, get the assignment. How iconic is that packaging? Um, just really cute. So I picked that up. And I've got, I think I've asked this for Christmas as well, actually. I haven't, yeah, I've asked this for myself for Christmas because what a great gift set. This was under £6, I think, in the sales. Um, but this is a Revolution, the Icons Pink Party. So you get a lip gloss a mini eyeshadow palette a mini sport fix lasting hold fixing spray and a mini translucent baking powder like that could be like your go-to travel essentials do you know what i mean um and once again the packaging is really pretty pink and pink so massive win on that one and then i also got the mini matte heroes gift sets so this contains a mini matte fix oil control setting spray and translucent baking powder great little stocking filler you know just cutesy um, and I've done like an inventory per se of what gifts are going to which friends. So I don't feel as overwhelmed as I did when I first ordered all of it. Um, and then I also got... Is this W7 or is this Revolution? That's W7. Okay. So I also got myself some peach and rose sponge duos. Um, so two sponges basically. Um, and these just remind me of... Um, the Clomana marshmallow sponges, you know, the, that viral sponge, which are amazing, but they're always out of stock or I can't get hold of them. So I'm going to give these a go. Um, I tend to use brushes, but I really wanted to have some sponges in my collection. Um, and I have used Revolution sponges before and I've liked them. So hopefully they'll be good. I then got myself some anti-drip wristbands and these are really pretty and cute because they're pink. Um, these are basically, if you're like me and you have no idea what these are for, I only learned about these in Malika's vlogs. So thank you, girl. Um, but they basically, you put them on when you're doing your skincare and it just saves your arm from getting soaked and stuff like that. Um, if you're like me and you're really messy when you're washing your face, which probably most of you aren't because you have your lives together. Um, but yeah, these were really inexpensive and I just love them. They're so cute. Like I showed my mum and she was like, I can understand why you bought them. So yeah. Um, and then the last thing from Revolution is this. Now this is their... Curl Enhancer, Curling Ribbon, Clip and Two Scrunchies. Basically, they're heatless curling hair curler. <laughs> um, I haven't seen many reviews on this one, but I bought this as a gift for some one of my friends. I wasn't sure which one, and I'm still in two minds. So, but this was, this would be a perfect little stocking filler. I say little, but it's quite long, but hence why one of the, my friends' boxes is going to have to be quite big because of how long this is. Um, but yeah. And it comes in a really nice kind of silk-like bag. Um, yeah, I don't curl my hair. I don't have enough hair to curl anymore. And to be honest, I'm much more of a straight hair, straight hair girly. But yeah, I picked that up. So if any of you know anyone that wants to try the heatless curls, there's so many brands you can get from, but that one was really, really inexpensive. And then from W7, let's get into it. I'll show you the bits I got for myself. I got the W7 Lash Out Mascara, which just reminded me so much when I looked on the website of the Maybelline is it sky high no i can't remember that i know what it is because it's in my notes but it's one that malika recommends and i know so many people really like but this is just a w7 alternative i believe it's in yeah black is black um and if you wanted to know w7 is cruelty free and vegan friendly 
um, and it's one of, it used to be one of my favourite brands, so ordering from them, because I haven't done it in years, and I was telling all my friends, they were like, oh my god, I haven't ordered from them in years either, they have a good loyalty scheme as well, I didn't sign up for that, um, because I was in a bit of a rush, but they have a good loyalty scheme on their website, and W7 do actually have some good products, it can be hit and miss, don't get me wrong, but I'm looking forward to trying them, because for the price point, you can't grumble, I then got myself the Romance Neutrals in Love palette, now, if you are new to my channel, you will not know, Oh no, hang on, I think it's in here. How much? And I I don't know if they still sell this anymore. Um, so I'm going to have to check Amazon out because sometimes when products are discontinued on a website, sometimes Amazon sell them um, through other sellers. This is the 24K Gold Rush, 14 of the richest pressed pigments. And I tell you, they're not lying. I have used this palette to death, um, as you can see, and I absolutely love this. If you ever wonder... Not saying you do, but if you ever do wonder when I'm wearing a gold, shimmery, smoky eye, this tends to be the palette that has helped form that eye look. It's so pigmented. The glittery pigments are so buttery. It's just one of my holy grail palettes. Um, so I just had to treat myself to another palette. Um, and this, the packaging is just really nice. You get a decent sized mirror. You get a brush as well. And can I say, the brushes in these palettes are actually fairly decent. I have to be fair. Um, but it's just got some really nice neutrals and rosy tones, as the name would suggest. Um, and I just, yeah, I want to try it. Because I've eyed this up for a long time and I've never picked it up. So that was a long time in the making. Um, that was a long time coming. So then I also got this. Now, I actually had the high-end version of this. And I didn't rate it at all. Um, this is the Ice and Bright Highlighter by W7. And now this is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I've got to be honest with you, the Anastasia Beverly Hills one, I, honestly, I think it was a massive miss for me. I did not get on with it at all. I just felt like the pigment was not there whatsoever. And we all know I like quite a blinding highlight or something that you can at least build to be high, uh, uh, pigmented. Do you know what I mean? A build up, what am I talking about? I at least like a highlighter that I can build up if it's not instantly like, wow. But I do like the really um, glowy highlighters. Um, let me just open this up. Okay, we're in. The mirror size is gorgeous, and this is the highlighter in itself. Now, the thing that I found with the Anastasia one, it was really chalky. So let's have it. Oh, it feels a lot softer. Oh, oh, I quite like that. It's a bit more. It's not as icy as the name would suggest. I think that's got quite a yellowy, goldy reflex. You probably can't see it that well because I have buffed it out. Can you even see it at all? No, probably not. But I really like that swatched so we'll give it a go on the face because obviously sometimes on the face it may not look as good but it's giving me a lot more high hopes than the Anastasia one did and by the way I'm not trying to tell you guys that Anastasia Beverly Hills is not a good brand because let's be honest they have some amazing products from what I've heard but my one experience with one of their products it just wasn't for me but that does not mean it won't be for you anyway so then the other bits that I got I got this which is the in the clouds cloud headband and wristbands this is um a very cute set let's be real um pretty in pink um so i know who that's going to i then got some of their gift sets now can i say their gift sets were really reasonably priced full price anyway however with the with the black friday sales it made it so much cheaper so this is the lip who's talking complete lip care kit with a strawberry lip balm strawberry sweet sugar scrub and a strawberry overnight lip mask I have tried the lip masks before and they are really, really good quality. For the price point, you can't um, complain. And I find them really moisturising. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving this as a present because once again, it gives you a great chance to try some of their products, um, which I think is the great thing about gift sets, let's be honest. Um, and then I got the W7i Show Off Amplify Your Eyes, which I actually regret not getting for myself, to be completely honest with you. So I may end up getting this for myself at some point. But it's a gorgeous mini palette the Flirty Eyes False Slash Mascara, the Eye Eye Captain Black Liquid Eyeliner, and you also get what I think is, oh, it's a liquid eyeshadow, not a liquid eyeliner, I got it wrong. But in the eyeshadow palette, you also get a liquid eyeshadow. Like, for all of that, what a bargain at like, I think it was like 13 pound full price, I'm not sure, once again, don't quote me, just go check out the W7 website if any of these things take your fancy. But it was affordable, and what a great gift to get someone. Um, it's a bit of everything, basically your whole eye look in one, so really happy with that, and then I also got some of these, which once again, I think I may get for myself, but the only thing that puts me off is, um, I think, 
they've got like diamantes on but anyway um they're the silky knots um silk hair scrunchies i love the box though do you know what i mean very cute um and it says on the bottom deck the halls in your beauty station with this tree hanging bauble containing three large silk hair scrunchies oh oh there you go okay i'll open it up but i'm gonna be really gentle because obviously i don't wanna but that's what they look like inside and yeah they've got little diamantes on um very cute with super drug so when i showed you guys the revolution makeup bag which is this one in case any of you were uh, forgotten because this video is going to be a long one um so this is obviously really practical this one is good for like long haul trips and also storing any overflow makeup that i make it over the christmas period this is from studio london which is super drugs own brand now i got this in the black friday sales it was well the early black friday sales um this was 30 pounds down to 15 this is what i was expecting this to be like i don't know why but it just looked like it'd be more of a solid makeup bag but i don't mind still really pretty and it's gonna do the job this is rock solid and i'm so excited to use this so that's what it obviously looks like and i am gonna open it up now um and obviously i've got loads of studio london products in as a demonstration but i don't have those um but i have asked for some for christmas never mind okay let's open it up oh no oh well that's made me sad the mirror's smashed there's not much i can do because i don't think i have the receipt oh, what a shame look <laughs> never mind it's all right i'm still going to use it and for the price you can't grumble but you've got this bit which goes i'm assuming that goes in the top um so this bit which holds your makeup brushes and then obviously these but the difference between this and that they're made by mitchell cases you can't move the organizers but i'm still going to use it it's just a real damn shame about the mirror because that would have been perfect but i can to be fair one of the cracks has left me enough space to see my head in there so say head face what a shame look but i'm still really happy with the purchase um and it's just it feels like really good quality as well so <laughs> gotta look at the positives of these things um okay and then in the super drug bag we've got some miscellaneous things in here as well so i'm going to show you this how cute i have shown him in a vlog this is spencer bear from m &S. it is a pencil case but will i be using it as a pencil case absolutely not look how cute he is <sighs> oh and he's got some sweets inside which is just a bonus this was seven pounds which i know could be seen as like really bougie for a pencil case but when it comes to m&s sometimes you just have to indulge yourself do you know what i mean it's so super soft um i also got from m&s these christmas puppy parade creamy milk chocolates <clears throat> i think i might even get myself some of these but these are as a christmas present they were probably quite expensive for what they are but you just have to have a bit of M&S sometimes at Christmas. And I know who I've got them for will really um, enjoy them. Um, Poundland, actually, we'll go into that. I've got so, quite a few bits, but I did a Poundland haul. But I thought I'd show you some of my favourite bits that I picked up. This is a Fresh and Dewy Body Stories Serum. And it's giving me, when I opened it up in my Poundland haul, it's giving me Charlotte Tilbury. Like the colour of the product, like the rose gold, obviously it's a lot cheaper packaging obviously but do you know what i mean it's giving charlotte tilbury now we all know i love a dewy serum so we're gonna give it a go um and i'll let you know my thoughts but let's get a perfect little stocking filler i'm gonna be doing a poundland christmas gift guide by the way at some point through december um okay is there anything else from poundland i wanted to show you oh yeah these um christmas candy canes i'm gonna be using these attached to cards and in christmas parcels for friends and family and stuff like that and I also got this hanging gonk. Now, I still haven't chosen a name, in case you're wondering, if you watch the panel and haul. But thank you so much for your suggestions, because I'm definitely going to choose one of them. Um, but we all know I love a gonk. Right, the rest of it is all from Superdrug. Um, and then I've got one more. Oh, no. Poundland, again, because I have to show these every given opportunity. Blooming Christmas-themed cake forks. My grandma is going to love these when I show her them. I need to see if they've still got them in Poundland because I need to pick some up as gifts for people because I've been asked if I can grab them from... I'm just going to treat them to them because they're very inexpensive. Four pounds. A pound per fork. What more could you want? Like, I'm sorry, but even my mum was like, you need to get those. My mum never normally enables purchases, but when it comes to Christmas, she's pretty damn good at it. Um, so yeah, I've got this. I've then got a book 
and my TikTok shop, uh, one of my beauty crop TikTok shop parcels. Um, well, things I bought to show you. But Superdrug, let's get into it. I've got two more packs of, did I get two or three? I think I got three, but I've opened one. No, I didn't, I did get three. Three of these, biodegradable, um, sensitive skin wipes. I absolutely love these for cleaning up under my under eyes or when I put like cream contour on my hand just to wipe it off. Um, so I used to be that girl that would, was too lazy to wipe it off so I looked like I just had, without being too graphic, poo on my hand. Um, or really dodgy fake tan, whichever one you wanna go with. I think if you know me, you know. I don't tan. Um, okay, and the next bits I've got, I restocked on the e.l.f. Glow Reviver Lip Oil and this is in Pink Quartz. I really feel like they've changed the packaging as in like it's longer packaging now because the other ones were so small but I don't know. Maybe it's just the pack, but it's definitely, this is a, the, this, the box is definitely a lot longer than it was when I first bought them. Um, but we all know this is one of my favourite lip oils. I'm going to be asking for some for Christmas. They are so damn good. They last so long. Like the ones that I've had to part ways with is because they are so like, I don't feel comfortable using them on my lips because they've been used and abused. That's what I bought them for. Um, but yeah, it's got an oversized ultra plush applicator and they're just amazing. However, I thought because it had apricot oil, it would smell like apricots. They're very minty smelling, but they're really blooming good and I would recommend them to anyone that's looking for a good lip oil. They're comfortable on the lips, they don't feel greasy in my opinion. Love them. Um, I then got... Um, I then got some face masks because I've been on about how I wanted to get some clay face masks. I've asked for some clay face masks for Christmas, but I've just got myself the cucumber cooling. Did I get myself two of those? Okay, I got myself three of those because it was three for two. And I remember how much I used to love these. Once again, I know I'm a broken record. Great stocking filler. Definitely could be asking for some for Christmas. Um, great for Secret Santa. You know, if you know that person's skincare, uh, skin type, obviously, don't get something that will burn their face. Um, but I absolutely love these and they're so cooling on my skin. So, as the name would suggest. So I got myself three of those and then I got three um to add into a christmas parcel for one of my friends the pink clay the hydrating avocado sheet mask so this is a clay mask this is a sheet mask and this is the cleansing agave face mask um for all skin types and it's a peel off mask and my camera battery's flashing bear with but yeah that they are the face masks that i picked up from Superdrug. super inexpensive and i think they're a staple in most people's routine okay new camera battery is in right if you have made it to the end of this video, well, I'll actually say, but when, if you make it to the end of the video, make sure you put a blue love heart in the comments because I'm impressed. Um, but the other bits that I got for myself, one was a recommendation from Malika. Um, I then picked up two makeup items from Collection, which I'll show you in a second. But this is what I'm really excited to show you because I've asked for the other products in this range for Christmas. So this is the Sunday Rain. I've never really heard about this brand before. I've seen it on some people's Super Drugs New In TikTok videos. Um, but this is Mango and Coconut um, Hair and Body Mist. Now that sounds heavenly. The packaging, I'm all here for. It's cute. It's aesthetic. Um, and I have smelt it from the, one of their other products. Heavenly. Smells like summer holidays, in my opinion. It just smells so nice. Um, haven't tried this yet, but I'm really excited to do so. I've got to say, the packaging's not great for travel, but I'm not here to judge. I think it's a really cool concept, and I'm sure there's loads of brands that do it, but if you want, like, an affordable one, they do body butters, shower gels, I think bath salts, don't quote me, body scrubs, all sorts. Um, so I have asked for some of them for Christmas. I picked up two more of the collection blushes. Now, once again, we're going to talk about another favourite product in this payday haul. This is the Collection Blush in Peach. They still sell this, thank God. So when I next go in, I am going to buy a backup because I use this and it's like the dent. It's not showing up on camera, but this blush is my holy grail. Bury me with it, please. Um, but they're $2.99. They're so inexpensive and the quality is amazing. So I picked up the Bashful Blush. Um, and it's more of a, like a pinky tone, but like a mauvey pink. It's not like bright pink if that makes any sense i'm not very good at describing color tones or anything like that but that's what it looks like um i'm looking forward to giving that a try um and then i picked up this i hadn't seen this before this is a velvet cream blusher in a toffee swirl but it just gives me like the peachy vibes do you know what i mean um and i just think how 
nice as that look and i've got the blusher itch but i actually need to start using the blushes that i've got now but i love a bit of blush which like i'd say two three years ago lily would be like blush what are you on about it's just all about growth <laughs> um and then i picked this up which is the pantene keratin reconstruct mask I've seen this on Malika's channel. She has raved about the anything keratin because obviously it's really good for restoring your hair. Um, <clears throat> and to be fair, I'm taking really good care of my hair. I'm really proud of myself actually for, and I know it may sound like a little thing to some people, but I'm sure people that have, you know, understand where I'm coming from will get me when I say I spent such a long time not looking after myself and really neglecting myself in every aspect so i've now got a solid hair care routine do i wash my hair consistently i'm gonna be honest no but when i do i use the right products and i use like i switch it in and out and i'm just really happy with the products that i'm using because i have noticed a massive difference in my hair um so a little bit of a deep chat but i'm just really happy that i'm actually looking at products thinking oh i would use that and i will actually use it rather than just not caring anyway um, I've got a list on my notes of Malika recommendations, <laughs> so I've ticked this off, um, but yeah, I love the Pantene Keratin hair oil, um, it's worked really well for my hair so far, I've used it for a couple of weeks and it just makes my hair feel lovely. I put it in the ends, not at my, um, roots because I find like it makes my hair way too greasy, um, otherwise like after a day my hair just, I might as well have not washed it, um, but on my ends it makes my hair look gorgeous um so i'm really excited to try this but i don't want to open it yet because i've got a hair mask on the go already um so yeah but it just says our intensive so smoothening um keratin reconstruct treatment with micro soothers works for you works with your hair to silk in each hair strand it locks out humidity to help keep frizz from forming for 72 hour of frizz control and silky smooth hair in one in only one use Apply into damp hair beginning from the tips and massage upwards. Let the rich formula work for a few minutes and rinse thoroughly. For best results, use with Pantene Smooth and Sleek Shampoo and Conditioners. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to giving it a go and I will let you guys know what I think. But I love buying things that are recommended from either my friends or other content creators. And Malik happens to be a really wholesome content creator and a really good friend of mine. So, tick two boxes in one. Okay, a book that I have bought. First Dawn, um, this is by Grace Riley because I have Breakaway and obviously there is a series of this. So I think there's four books in, I think, or not. Hang on, let me see. Yeah, there is four books. So in this series, in the Beyond the Play series by her anyway, um, you've got First Down, which is this one, um, Breakaway, Stealing Home and Wicked Servant. Now I know Rhiannon's got me one of the other books. Um, so then I've only got to get one more and then I've got the full set. Um, but I've seen loads of things about this kind of style book on TikTok. Obviously, we all know how much I love. I don't know. Some of you are probably going to be yawning at me mentioning it again. But I'm looking at it. Icebreaker by Hannah Wright. No, Hannah Grace. Icebreaker by Hannah Grace is phenomenal. I'm reading it for the second time and I just, I'm as addicted to it as I was the first read. Do you know what I mean? Um, but I will have to put it down eventually and try some other books. And Grace Riley has a similar sort of style, but obviously in her own way. Um, so, yeah. I'm looking forward to giving this to the beauty crop advent calendar now i this was a really wholesome purchase for me because once again this time last year i mentioned it a lot in my channel i would never even been able to like i would not have been present enough in the world to even look at treating myself to a beauty advent calendar i've always wanted to treat myself to a bit of a not say bougier but one with like m more worth the money do you know what i mean um and i did just that this year so in here you've got it's 25 days of full size items i'm pretty sure like the makeup and the skincare that's included in here it's all full size so you get the first layer up here you get the second layer in this drawer you get and the third layer here um i've kind of seen what's in it but i don't know what order it's in because i haven't watched the spoiler videos on tiktok um I really want to treat myself to the Peter Wee's one and I'm not saying that it's not worth the money because I know it's very con it's a very controversial topic on TikTok because TikTok likes to make everything quite toxic and nasty in my opinion but I just couldn't justify spending £240 on an advent calendar. I'm not saying it's not worth it because you get so many full size products and limited edition items. I've seen Jordan Nook's going to unbox it and to be honest it would have been so very me but I just I couldn't do it this year and that's okay but I'm really excited about this because Beauty Crop is a brand that I've heard so much about on TikTok 
through YouTube as well, mainly TikTok. Holly is the one that got me into the beauty crop. I've got some beauty crop products to try, but I'm really excited because their brand incorporates, well, the products, the makeup products incorporate skincare in them as well. Um, so I just think it's a really good brand, personally. Um, it's designed in the UK, and you are, by buying this, you are supporting responsible management of the world's forests, printed using soya inks. Okay. Um, but yeah, it says, have yourself a merry little cropmas. Um, I'm just really excited to try this stuff. And show you guys in my vlog, uh, festive vlogs, what I got. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited. Thank you, Holly, to one of my dear gals, for introducing me to the beauty crop. And yeah, I love you very much. And I'm very excited to open this up. Okay. I think that's it. You've made it. As I said, if you have made it to the end of this video, leave a blue heart and your Instagram handle and you may get a little surprise. Um, I'll pop your message on Instagram with a potential little surprise for you guys because if you made it to the end, fair play. I'm not looking forward to editing this video, but as I said by the thumbnail and the title, it is one of my biggest payday hauls yet. Very Christmas gifting inspired and obviously themed and Black Friday. I've never really bought in the Black Friday sales, but I've actually done some good shopping in the Black Friday sales. Normally the old me would have just impulsively bought loads of crap that I don't need when actually I've used it to fuel me buying Christmas presents and getting most of my close friends done, um, which is never been heard of. And I can actually, now I film this, send off their parcels and start wrapping, well, start wrapping their stuff and send off their parcels before December even hits because I just don't want their parcels to get lost. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for watching my videos always because I wouldn't be able to do it if you guys didn't click on my videos um, and I just really appreciate it. And honestly, strap in for the Christmas content. I am so excited. Um, it's definitely going to be a lot better than last year. That kind of flopped, didn't it? Let's be real. It didn't even start. Um, so yeah, there's festive vlogs. There's going to be festive sit-down videos. Um, if there's any festive videos that you want to see, so when I'm like sat down here talking to you guys, um, please let me know. I've got some really great ideas um, from people on my Instagram stories, like Christmas glam looks, gift guides. I'm not going to be doing a sit down wish list video. I'm going to incorporate that into a festive vlog because loads of you have asked for that. So probably in my first festive vlog, there will be my Christmas wish list. What I've asked for for Christmas. Um, but if you have any other ideas, please let me know. I'm also going to be incorporating like budget ideas into my Christmas videos quite a lot. So um, stocking fillers up to £10 or, you know, just trying to be... I, I don't have the world's most of money, do you know what I mean? However, I do know how to find a good bargain that's also worth it. So I just want to be really relatable um, because it's my life and I know that Christmas can be a really daunting time of the year for people. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash a big thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already. And I'll see you beautiful lot in my next vlog or video, whichever you watch first. Bye.